going live. Am I here? <laughs> Let me see if I'm here yet. Yep. Okay, I've got to mute myself though. Why does it? Yay, everybody's waving at me. <laughs> Why is it saying I am here? It never shows me at the bottom of the screen for some reason. Thank you. I had on an even cuter shirt and then I got my dinner on it. So it's not showing my video on my page. But I don't need it on my page. I just don't want it all of a sudden to start parroting me. So uh, mm -hmm. what I say. So are you guys ready for a vintage sale tonight? So I've got, thank you, pink and reds are one of my colors. So um, they go real good with these dark hair and dark eyes. This dark hair. Although I was noticing Sunday that right up in here, I'm getting a lot of gray. So, But what do you expect when you're 54 years old almost? So, hey, Perla, I friended you today, and honey child, you are gorgeous. Absolutely traffic stopping gorgeous. So, to be young again, although I was never gorgeous when I was young anyway, but not traffic stopping gorgeous. I might have been cute. <laughs> so, anyway. But, Don't be hard on yourself. So, anyway. And who? Huh. I did not put on makeup during the summer. Y'all just going to have to get used to not seeing me with makeup on when it's hot. I don't want makeup on my face. It makes me sweat. <laughs> Ain't nothing pretty about sweating under makeup. So <laughs> it melts oh, right off. <laughs> hey, Tara. Oh, Tara. Hey guys, let me, I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. Y'all ready for this auction? I see 17 watching. We need two more thumbs up to match the watchers. Okay, Tara, you there. Now, um, is this the little pink bag you asked me about at my booth? Because I'm thinking this was the one that you asked me about. And I brought this back from my booth to show you. And this is a Max Mayer bag, Tara. So if this is it, let me know. Message me on Facebook or whatever, and we'll we'll talk. I don't have very much on it at all, so let me know. When I showed pictures of my booth in uh, uh, where I sell a lot of my purses, um, yes, it's gorgeous. Okay. Uh, message me and we'll talk. I, I mean, I literally have less than $10 on it. So we'll talk about it. So anyway, but uh, uh, hey, Jude. So let me just go through here and say hey to everybody because don't want to miss anybody. It's Denise was first and Jen Layton and Lynn B. And of course, Bougie's here. And Cece, hey, Connie, how are you? Treasure Trove. That's Tammy, right? I think Tammy. And let's see. Cheryl's here, and Patricia is here, and Green Fairy. Hey, Green Fairy, and Perla, and Tara, who's Forever Lose On, and uh, Robin, my Skywatch. Oh, Robin, you're going to be, you need to hang with me to the very end because I have a fashion law and I have the cutest owl in it. And uh, I, Guys, I, I posted, I'm doing a vintage sale, but I will have fashion jewelry. I got all the way to the end of my lots, and I realized I didn't put no fashion. It's all vintage. So I made one fashion lot. So can't can't make myself a liar. Hey, Jude. So anyway, let me just scroll down this way. Keep going there. Okay, Perla. Lynn. Hey, Geraldine. How are you, honey? Well... Well, good news is the water is going down. Bad news is we're expecting the last I saw the last projection. Hey, Francis. Hey, honey. Um, the last I saw projected was 
five to 12 inches of rain this week alone. Guys, you, it's unreal the water that's in Arkansas right now. Unreal. So far, all I've heard of has been two deaths. Um, and they've been in my area around the Fort Smith area. Hey, Carrie Craig, how are you? So um, anyhow, but yeah, lots and lots of water. We're I have a video that rain too. I have a video on my phone that I want to get posted onto my YouTube of the Arkansas River at Dardanelle flooded. So anyway, we'll see. So I need to grab a couple of things. Mm -hmm quick out of the drawers back here when my little boys were little my boys were little they always called their chest of drawers they always called them their drawers they're gonna put the clothes in their drawers <laughs> <laughs> so now we all call them we gotta get something out of that drawer <laughs> so anyway okay i'm pulling some jewelry to give away as giveaways so we'll just, I'll start and show y'all what I'm going to give away as the giveaways. And uh, that one, I don't know what that is. I thought it was a mark, but I'm afraid to scratch at it too much. So anyway, it's all necklaces tonight. We're going to give away this one. And we'll do this during the auction at certain points we'll do. So I have that. Then this one here is very similar to it. And it's got cotton in it. It was in a cotton box. You know what I mean when I say a cotton box? One of those jewelry boxes that's got a layer of cotton. Those kind of gross me out. I have a friend that is like really, really grossed out by cotton in the top of pill bottles. In fact, to the point that she won't take it out. Somebody has to take it out for her, a <laughs> or her husband. So anyway, well, she, she's not married now. She's divorced. But anyway. Oh, no, I can't give that one away. It's It's tore up. So. Is it, I didn't realize it was tore up. It'll have to go in a craft lot. Oh, wait. We're going to have a craft sale tomorrow. So, anyway, hey, darling Buckland. When I said Al, we were watching me on the big screen, or at least until it. And then I'm going to give this away. So, okay. I need to pull one more thing out. And because I want to do three giveaways. Let's see. Yeah, we tried to do that craft auction the other day, but YouTube was not having it. <laughs> Yeah, YouTube was not having it. Okay, we'll give a watch away tonight. I got this cool leather watch. We'll give it away. So I got three prizes. I got, hey, Nancy. I've got um, 35 lots. We're, it's going to be all auction. I don't think there's going to be any buy it now unless I get real tired. Sometimes when I start getting real tired, I, I'm like, let's just sell it now. <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> So I do the same thing. <laughs> do the same thing. So that's what the other night when we were doing that uh, uh, one dollar auction at the end, I was so tired and we'd done sold a bunch and I was like, okay, let's just start putting it in the box and y'all can start bidding on it. <laughs> so anyway, so so we're gonna get started, guys. So I was looking for my pen. I know that surprises y'all that I have a flyer tape to my pen so so anyway so this is cool this is a charter member five-year commemorative anniversary pen hey sandra conco welcome if i didn't say hi to you i'm sorry but welcome everybody that's here and um let's see it says there's 26 watching now so welcome everybody so it says charter member Five-year commemorative anniversary pin, 1994 Lucy Atwell LTD, licensed by Greenham Licensing. So that's the back of it. That's where the little all the information is on it, and this is the front of it. And it's a little brooch. And let's see if we can get that little looky. Isn't that sweet? She's got a tape there. So now. <laughs> When I held that up there, it almost looked like there was metal loss to it, but there is no metal loss on it. So I don't know if it's just the shadows or what there. See, it, maybe it's just the way the light's shining on it. I think that's it. Anyway, so we're going to start this off at $2 and we're going to bid on it and uh, we won't let it get up real high. has a little bit of a bend in the in the back here. So 
So as we go, can I just number it one, two, three, four, and on? Yes, so on? this is number one. Yep, number one. So anyway, so I'm going to start at $2 on this little brooch. And y'all know I do actual shipping, okay? Actual shipping. So anybody interested in this little brooch? So. anybody oh guys and aren't we happy to see bougie bear here because i've done the last two auctions by myself and i am happy to see my bougie so I they can't that. see me though uh, for some reason when we do this my little box at the bottom doesn't show up there now can they see you let's see now they can see you let's see uh, let's see if i go over here oh yeah it's flipping back and forth now but there is a way to have it to where I think it's like you don't click on the box or something. I'm trying to unclick the box. So there. Do you see Bougie or do you see me? Who do you see? There's Bougie. Now can you see me too though when I start talking? Does it float back and forth between us? Yeah, that's what it was doing. It was floating back and forth, but there's a way to have you presenting and me in a little box at the bottom. And I forget if it's that you have to present or if you have to just click on your yourself. I think if you just click on your box at the bottom of the Hangout screen, I think that's what makes the difference. Okay, now what do y'all see? It says, I am presenting to everyone. What do you see now? I see me, though, right this second. <laughs> okay. Let's see. What about now? Now you just see me, you, just me, right? Or do you see you in the bottom? Do you see me now? I see because you, but I don't see me in the bottom. You see me now? Now just me? Not April? So... Oh, it has a little thing that says hide participants. I didn't. I don't have you hot hidden, no. No, I, I don't. I just see that now, and I've never noticed that before. Huh? But usually, like, when me and Casey do it, he's in a little box at the bottom. Okay, now what happens? See, that only done when it said, can you see me now on the video? Guys, two dollars is where we're starting on the bidding on this little girl. So it's a vintage brooch. This sweet little girl holding a teddy bear. Two dollars is where we're starting. It is a commemorative, commemorative charter member five-year commemorative anniversary pin. We got cherry at two. Cherry berry at two. So oh, that's sweet. That little girl. It don't feel like it's glass. It feels like it's just a little plastic covering in there. Hey, Vanessa Haran, how are you, my friend? So, anybody else interested? If not, we're going to sell it at $2, guys. Hey, Maury, how are you? Does it? Let me just. I'm, I'm trying something. Just a minute. Okay. I don't think y'all lose. I'll lose y'all because I've got this pop down. I have quite a few brooches yeah, tonight. Right. There I am. Okay. There. I had to turn off my thing. There. There I am. There I am. Let's see what it says here. I wonder what the difference is when it says present to everyone or just like I'm doing because I'm not presenting to everyone. Well, I know I'm that's what I was saying. Like down at the bottom on our screen that only me and you can see. If you uh -huh. click on yourself, I think that's still presenting you to everybody. Okay. That may be the difference 
between the two instead of going up to the top and clicking present or whatever. Okay. Now let's see. Okay. You want me to start calling it for Cherry? I didn't yeah. see any other bid. Go ahead. So. All right. So we're at two dollars for Cherry Berry. Going once, two times. And sold to Cherry for two dollars. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, there we go. Okay, Cherry Berry. Two dollars. <laughs> okay, I had to uh, make sure that I can see you, mm -hmm. but uh, I had to make sure. Okay. And that's not working neither. So I have to go back to this. Here. That's not working either. So go over here. And do that. Because I don't like that. Okay. Okay. We are. I need a. I need a tub to drop my. Sold items in. Okay. And we're off and running. So. Hey, Lena, I haven't seen you in forever. Here, I'm back. You should be able to see me now. Mm -hmm. I'll have to watch my numberings because they're uh, sliding around. So this is a lot. This is a, um, these are vintage beads. They are plastic. They are, um, let's see. More. No, they're not marked. So you have these that have the little specks in them that look like, they're trying to make them look like they're marble, pieces of marble, but they're plastic beads, but they are vintage. And then you have this set here. Hey, Rod, can you come here for a minute? I got in here without any tea. I need tea. Thank you, bud. And then I have this set here, and they are plastic too. They're also vintage. And so we're going to start the bidding on these at $3 for the two necklaces, not a piece, but you get two necklaces if, with it. So we're going to start the bidding at $2 on these. Thank you. Oh. So. Hey, Vita, anybody, $2, $3 is where we're starting. I'm sorry, start at $3 on these. So these are vintage beads. Oops, I don't want to put them up yet. Uh, well, that's fine. Cheryl started at two. We, that's fine. She can start at two. So anyway, so we got Cheryl in at $2. Hey, Blandine. So you have of white, and I have lots of white jewelry tonight, guys. Lots and lots. I have no glass beads. Um, I'm just clearing out some of my vintage things. They've been hoarded long enough. So anyway, if y'all hear on the news that some lady in Arkansas had a nervous breakdown overnight, <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> so I got two necklaces. Anybody? You're fine. Okay. I think uh, she's bidding three. She wants well, to go. Anybody want to go three? That's fine. She can stay at two. Because I said two, then I then I remembered I'd said three. So I didn't start do starting bids with you. So except for a few things. We'll go two. You lost two. Um, she says. We're only seeing your icon. There you go. You're back now. Oh, okay. Scared me. Okay. <laughs> I'm back. Hey, Granny Josie. How are you? There we Hi, go. Joe. Okay. We've got um, Cheryl at $2 three times on these. This is the last one. Last time. These are vintage. Vintage things tonight. So. All right, and I have sold to Cheryl for two dollars. Uh, 
Uh-oh. Are we losing you? Because I can't hear you. Thank you, Cheryl. You can't hear me? I didn't. I quit talking. Yeah, it's cutting hey, in and out. It's going flipping in and out with your icon and cutting out your uh, audio. Can you hear me? Okay, hold on. Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, I can hear You're freezing. you. Hold, hold on. Let me fix it. Let me. Okay. For more. For me, it is very pixelated. The icon keeps appearing. Yeah. It's in it. Okay, let me pop in here if anybody. So. Uh, can you can <clears throat> okay now can you hear me april yep i can hear you okay um i'm on my uh, mobile hotspot so i had to get on it because obviously my internet wants to go crazy so anyway hopefully this will work for me so Anyway, right. okay, here we go. Okay, there we go. It's a conspiracy. Okay, guys, <laughs> am I back? There we yep. go. Okay, let's see. That was number two. I'm looking for number three. One, two, three. Here we go. Okay, these here are bicones. And um, this is a vintage bicone triple strand set with earrings and we're going to start this at three dollars okay guys these are the ones that vita fixed for me so i sent them to her and she start fixed them and um i was trying to see if these are signed no these are not signed they have bronze tone they're bicone white bicones i did not clean these so these will need cleaned so when you get them they're going to have dirt on them they've not been cleaned okay and I told Vita not to clean them because I had matching earrings and I have matching earrings that go with them. So we're going to start at $3. Got Cheryl in at three. We have matching earrings. These are vintage guys. They are very vintage. They are more than likely Japan, but they don't, they're not, I don't see a signature, but uh, they are bicone beads. Vita have done a great job fixing those. If y'all have any beads, okay. The truth. I'm back. I'm back. I just had to uh, get on my mobile hotspot. So anyway, uh, anyway, these are really pretty. I was looking. Uh, Jude, we don't have to we don't have to block the truth because he he never says anything negative. He's always pretty positive and funny about his comments yeah. so yeah yeah i think he's maybe so he comes yeah. into my chat and he's always saying funny stuff and nice stuff and supportive stuff he's never saying anything negative so anyhow let me i'm looking for a a thingamabob i thought i was more ready than obviously i am I think he is, seems like he talks in poetry. So, anyway. Yeah. 
it's different. But he was saying he was just saying give a big thumbs up, you know. Yeah, he was. Yeah, but he was saying that he saw me and then he didn't see me. So anyway, and he's along with everybody else. <laughs> so I was here, then I was gone. Oh, let's see. Yeah, it's okay. Carol at three. Cheryl's in at three. Anybody want to go four on this? These are vintage, guys. Most everything we're going to see tonight is going to be vintage. So. Lemon coffee cups. <laughs> so, anyway. And, of course, I did tangle it up as I laid it down. You would know it. Don't you hate when you do that when things are more than one strand? There we go. Okay. All right, you want me to start calling it? Yeah, let me see if I can get it to show where it looks pretty. Okay. Do you say those are glass beads or? No, they're plastic bicones. Okay. Yeah, they're plastic bicones. There we go. Oh, I said this was a triple strand. It's actually four strands. Uh -huh. That's what you get for not paying attention, Cindy Lou Bob. There we go. They're four strands. Oh my gosh. Look. Look how pretty. Four strands. Mm -hmm. Icon beads. Matching earrings. So, anybody want to go four? Three dollars, guys. It's where we are. Cheryl's got it at three. Anybody want to go four? Four dollar, four dollar. Four dollar, four dollar, make me holla, holla. <laughs> we got Jennifer at four. Let's see, y'all. You, you, you and Dez teach me all these things. So. <laughs> Cheryl's at five. Hey, guys, uh, in case y'all haven't figured it out, we're having an auction tomorrow during Love and Jewelry. We're going to auction off some crafty things. We're going to have a craft auction. I got some cool things. So. Got vintage sewing material, uh, jewelry making supplies, beads, all kinds Jared of stuff. Jaredine says six dollars. Hi, Jaredine. I know I said hi to you a while ago, but Jen's out. Jaredine says six. These are really pretty. No, I need a revolving stand that sits right here. Cheryl's out. You want to count to Jardine? We'll count. April. Mm -hmm. Yep, I'm typing. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Just remember they need to be cleaned. Just baby shampoo and water. Is really good. All right, I just sold to Jaredine for six dollars. Thank you, Jerry. I appreciate you, hun. Oh, is Vanessa here? Vanessa, are you still here? Uh, this is not for sale, but I just have to show Vanessa this, and it's not something I bought for you, honey. It's something I bought for me. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> raining here too. Look. I've never seen this. He listed it as damascene, and it looks like damascene. Look at that butterfly. Y'all look at that. Oh, wow. I bought that from Blue Bus Dave. Is that a piece of coral in, like, the bottom of the butterfly uh, it, or something? It's painted on it. Oh, nice. So, that is anyway, cute. I bought that from Blue Bus Dave. And I thought I'd won a Malachite cameo from him today, and I got outbid at the last minute. Is Her he home? doing auctions now? On Facebook, on eBay. Yeah. Ooh, I got to go check that out. Yep. Okay, guys, this has a Napier look, but it is not signed at all. And I do mean at all. It is vintage. It is enameled. It is very nice. You got these links with blue enameling. I hate when I flip things when I fasten it. There we go. Blue enameling in gold. We're going to start this at $3. Start at $3. I know it was gorgeous. 
and it sold for ten fifty, and I would have gone up to fifteen, but they sniped. They <laughs> they got me at the very end. So anyway, so going to start at three dollars on this. Has a Napier look, but it is not signed anything. And I'll tell y'all how long it is. Whoa. I don't want that to dump on my keyboard. It is about 18 inches long. Right at 18 inches long. So. Anybody want to go $3 on this? Anyone, anyone. Isn't that pretty? So, happy birthday, Selena. Three dollars on this, guys. That's where we started at three dollars. Anybody want to go? Oh, my sky watch. I will send you some of my rain. <laughs> hey, fairy vixen. Got Nancy Candela at three. You know what? Also, though, Fairy, a lot of times Monet and um, Napier used little dangle hang tags, and people did not like the dangles, and so they would take them off, too. So, so a lot of times those little dangle hang tags can get lost. So, um, but uh, whatever, whoever made it, it is very well, very nice quality nicely made it's not cheap so anyhow cherry berries not buffering are you buffering i checked it i didn't see any buffering so okay anybody else interested at four dollars would be your next bid Oh, you want to make, hey, uh, my Skywatch, go on eBay and put in uh, jewelry tags. There is somebody on eBay that sells jewelry tags, just jewelry tags. So it kind of horrified me because think of what they could do selling just jewelry tags. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they could corrupt vintage jewelry. Mm -hmm. uh, which, you know, the, the sad thing is, is when we buy it secondhand, we don't know for a fact that it's not been altered or whatever. So that's, you know, we just have to go by our, our what we learn to about the jewelry and how we learn about it, what is holds true for the company so anyhow so uh it's the only time we're lucky is if it's a book piece that we can find and prove in a book oh okay Geraldine's in at four okay yep she got in before you typed in sold so okay nancy you want to go five hun nancy's in at five Geraldine, you want to go six But you buy some, you know what? That is a good practice to hold on to unless you're a reseller like us. Jardine's in at six. So you have your maker's mark all designed already. That's cool. And I read somewhere that some of the old molds and things that they used from vintage jewelry, you know, some people have those and can remake, you know, pieces and yep. stuff. But you can okay. tell when it comes to that because of the wear yep. on the piece and such. Yep. Nancy says she's out. So if you want to count. Okay. All 
And sold to Jaredine for six dollars. Sold to Jaredine. Thank you, Jerry. I just call her Jerry because if you look at how her name is actually spelled, it's Gerardine. There's an R between the D and the A, Gerardine. And I just so, want to say Gerardine, but I'm used to saying Geraldine because that's yeah, a real have, other name is Geraldine. Yeah, but I yeah. have a aunt named Geraldine. My dad. <laughs> My dad's sister, just younger than him, her name is Geraldine. So, but her mom could never think of a middle name, so she doesn't have a middle name. So, <laughs> anyway, but her nickname is Jerry too. So, but that was kind of odd. Her nickname away from the family is Jerry. We always called her Geraldine here because uh, it's close to two thirty in the morning. Uh, uh, because my dad's name was Jerry, so we didn't need two Jerrys. So, <laughs> so I have these clip-on earrings. They have faux pearls in them with a little black stone right in the center. They are clip-on. I do believe they're them to be vintage. They are not signed. And you know what, guys? We're going to do a buy it now on these because, um, yeah, I mean, they're pretty. They're cute. But we're going to do buy it now, okay? On the, the first one, that I, they're bicone beads. Bicone. They make a cone at both ends. Bicone. So, anyway. Okay, we're going to do a bite now. I'm going to count 15 down, just in case we've got really long lag. And then I'm going to tell you the word to type, okay? Um, and they're going to be $3. <laughs> I guess I should have said, okay. <laughs> Three dollars. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. If you would like to buy these for three dollars, type in the word star. Star, S T A R, star. If you want these for three dollars, star. They kind of make a star shape, is why I, in my just kind of look like a star to me. So, star, three dollars. Anybody wants them? All right, Jared Jane. Did she get it? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Granny Josie, for subscribing. I appreciate it very much. Hmm. There we go. I got Jerry. Okay. Next, we're bidding. We've got two pairs of Marvella earrings. Back to the tablet. Hubby has to watch girls softball. National championship. Oh, my goodness. Dave doesn't know it's on. We usually watch softball, fast pitch softball. We love it. These are both Marvellas. They're signed. These. <laughs> These are stars. Let's see. Guess it helps when you hold it up by the camera and not to the the little black box on the thing here. Stars. Guys, bye fairy. Well, thank you for coming, hun. And they are stars with a faux pearl. And they have these are fish hooks. They are signed Marvella. Hey, it's the championship. Uh Softball national championship between UCLA and Oklahoma. Well, yep. And then these are Marvellas, and they're it's, faux. It's not an auction. Yes, it is an auction. Oh, okay. Faux pearls. I it is faux pearls, and I'm trying to get it to focus off of my face. And they're shaped like potatoes. <laughs> and they're clip on. And we're going to bid on these guys. You're getting two pairs of earrings. We're going to start the bidding at two dollars. Two dollars. Night, honey. You sleep well. So, oh, uh, shuckies. So, you know, it always helps when you turn them the right way when you're trying to open them. Okay. 
just just the point of so we got two pairs of earrings these here have little uh enamel inlays on them stars all that and it's marvella so we're starting at two dollars my sky watching it is in at two dollars yeah those are interesting they almost look like a flag or something on the bottom uh -huh, they do and i was real shocked that they're marvellas because they don't look real vintagey and i thought marvella was all vintagey stuff but uh um they could still be vintage yeah maybe they, 80s or something yeah they don't have a real vintage look so they're real cute so anyway i fixed dinner this afternoon at three o'clock it was leftovers from yesterday i made gravy out of my leftover pork chop stuff so i had a salad <laughs> and we ate it over i ate baby brussels sprouts with mine and a little bit of potato uh, instant potatoes they had instant potatoes so okay my sky watch is in at two dollars anybody want to go three a dollar a pair for a pair of vintage earrings dollar a pair Guys, I had some Trafari things, some Napier things, some Sterling. I have a few pieces of Sterling today. Shrimp tacos, yummy. That sounds good. We had shrimp Alfredo one day last week. Yeah. Um, then we had chicken lo mein the next day. Orange chicken lo mein. Oh, my gosh. It was still here. Oh, my Lord. My Skywatch. Don't even, I can't even smell of Slim Fast without starting to gag. I got, um, hey, Anna, Mora, I got, um, um, artificial sweetener poisoning from drinking so many, uh, Slim Fast back in the 90s, early 90s. That's all I lived on was Slim Fast and, uh, I ended up getting very, very ill, and for the longest time, I couldn't do anything that had artificial sweetener in it. And uh, but I got really sick. And the doctor told me that he thought I had artificial sweetening poisoning. Whoa. Anyway, okay, we're counting it down. I'm putting it in the bag. And sold to Skywatch for two dollars. I did the uh, Slim Fast thing too back in the nineties because my mom—that's what she would go to when she wanted to lose a few pounds because she was skinny anyway. <laughs> but I wanted something because it was chocolate, so I would try. I would try them with her. They didn't taste too bad, but they kind of had. I don't really like things out of a can because yeah. they have a can taste to them yep okay guys this is a pair of napier earrings i have not taken them off the card so what you see is what you get i don't even know if they say napier on the back of them to tell you the truth uh i think they say napier on the uh on the fastener but they are on a card that says napier they look like enamel inlays and not inlays so anyway and they're all different different ways i don't this is just exactly how i got them and so they're we're going to do a bite now for two dollars on these because i don't know if some are missing if that's what what they're supposed to look like i don't know so two dollars they're signed napier if you want them all I need you to type in after I count, because I want everybody to have a chance. All I need you to type in after I count is the word Napier. And if you spell it wrong, that's okay, too. But I'm going to count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If you want these Napier earrings for $2, type in the word Napier. So... And if you don't, we'll pass on.
guys this is a vintage set and i'm going to go ahead and set it up while we're waiting to see if anybody wants them if not that we can i'm fine about passing on them so this one is a vintage set i bought this in branson and uh i don't remember how much i gave for it but i know i gave too much for it but that's okay we're gonna sell it anyway so it's cute y'all know me i'm a sucker for anything with a rhinestone okay last chance if you want it for two dollars you need to type in napier or just type in two dollars that's all you got to do too we're passing on it i went ahead and put it i didn't know <laughs> i thought fine. you were ready to do the next one so that's fine totally fine so okay so we have these little looks like half moons they have these little blue flip them over there cindy blue flowers there we go blue flowers with little uh blue rhinestones with little clear rhinestones around them and i don't see any little missing rhinestones and then you have the matching necklace and come on focus there you go focus there it's focused okay and they are in gold tone the earrings are screw backs and we're going to start this we're going to start the bidding on these at three dollars if you want these we're going to start bidding on these at three dollars guys they are vintage then there's not a lot of metal loss i mean these are real old but uh they look very 50s to me yep Robin's in at three. We got Nancy at four. <laughs> Just remember, guys, everything is vintage tonight. So uh, I, my light is making a little bit of a too bright there. Robin's at five. So I have lots and lots of vintage things that I I kind of been hoarding up so I'm trying to play pretty and share my vintage goodies with y'all so now I've got to get out and go thrifting or I'm gonna run out of jewelry <laughs> I know you didn't live through the 50s but you love that decade yeah, I love vintage things too, my Sky Watch. I'm wearing turtles tonight. I got a little sterling silver turtle here and sterling silver turtles here. Nancy's at six and then a clamper sea turtle, which the one around my neck is a sea turtle too. These here look like terrapins. They don't look like sea turtles. Got Nancy in at six. Anybody want to go seven? Want to go get seven Moscow watch? We're going to do one more thing. And after this, we're going to do uh, our first giveaway. This is going to be another set too, but it's going to be a brooch and earring set. I actually have a couple of brooch and earring sets tonight. So, got my sky watch in at seven. I sure ain't wanting to focus, is it? There we go. Ooh, that helped. Mm hmm that's good right there. That helped, that helped real well. All right, Nancy said she's out, so we'll start calling it. When I go to vent, when I go to ventures, when I go, yeah, blue with white, little white petals. When I go to, um, there. when I go to Branson, there's this one place that I always go that I love to look at the jewelry. And I usually always buy quite a bit of jewelry there. And uh, that's where I got it. It's the Apple Tree Mall if you are a Branson person, the Apple Tree Mall. 
lot to go look at this that one. there's one dealer in there he always has cool jewelry so and he doesn't have like a lot of jewelry but he has enough that if it's not like hey this guy's a jewelry seller but usually has cool old things in it so anyway it's like you're finding a hidden treasure sold to robin for seven dollars thank you robin that's another thing I haven't done. I haven't went into any of the little, like, mark little flea booths around here and stuff in a really long time. Okay, guys. The first time I showed this, somebody told me that it was called something. And I was asking April if she remembered, and both of us don't. I don't think remember. I was there. <laughs> this is a brooch. I don't think this is vintage because of the, well, I don't know. If this is vintage or not but anyway we've got this little brooch it's it almost feels like it's transferred on let me look at it through my loop and see if I see dot matrix no yep it is it is a transfer so it is a transfer piece so, hey, passions and past times, Pat Hood. Oh, and then it has matching earrings. And so, it's a earring and brooch set. We're going to start the bidding on this at $3. <laughs> so, so, here's the brooch. Let's see if we can stick it in here. I mean, to me, they look like some type of flag that's on there. And, I don't know. Yeah. And it looks like a tile. Yeah. So, but they, somebody named off a name, and I cannot remember what it is. So here we go. Oh, let me turn the light back on because it gets a little dark without it. So it just don't work good for rhinestones. The earrings are pierced. The earrings are pierced. Is it a picture or abstract? Uh, I mean, I think I definitely see images of flags. I think it's a pic. I think that's an image, not abstract. It, it, yeah, it looks like images of flags is what it looks like. Hold on. Does one have like an anchor on it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. There, you've got a ship wheel, a rope, uh, a steering wheel fly, uh, an anchor. So it's very nautical themed. Yeah, it's nautical themed. So, hey, Roberta. So we're starting the bidding at $3. If you're interested in this, $3 is where we're starting. And let's hope that stays there. I think it will. Very, very nautical, yes. So, real pretty. Yeah, and it's got gold in it. Gold. This gold. So, anyway, and that's a broken Robin three. Robin's in at three. Anybody want to go four? Definitely unique. I've never seen, seen that before. Yeah, it, it is, is pretty. Different. Definitely cool. Hey, Jennifer Hayes. I didn't see you come in. I'm sorry. So, anybody want to go four? If not, we're going to count. We're going to do, I said one more while ago, but I want to do 10 each between each, each one because I've got, that's just the even way. So we're going to do the next piece and then we'll do the giveaway. So. Forty people. Yay. <laughs> oh. I was like 
fixing to freak out. I was fixing to say, oh, my Lord, what have I done? When I, I popped over to see how many people were in here watching, and uh, I saw that there was 26 thumbs up, and I looked, and it looked like it said there were eight thumbs down, but they weren't. <laughs> it was a zero. <laughs> All right, I have sold to my Skywatch for three dollars. Thank you, Robin. I appreciate you very much, hon. Do, do, do. Mm, get it unfastened and put back in there. There we go. Here we go. Oh. Okay. The next piece is a Trafari piece. And it is signed on here. It says Trafari. It does not have a crown. Uh, it has some wear on it. But it's still a beautiful necklace. And... To me, they look like little starfish stacked on top of each other. But it is Trafari. And we're going to start the bidding at the on this at $5. So, and it is vintage. It's got a hook and loop back here. We're going to start at $5, guys. Trafari, Trafari. Makes me want to go on a safari. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, anyway. Um, Pat wanted to know yeah. the link on it. I can tell you the length right here. Okay. The total length of this necklace is 16, uh, 16 and a quarter inches. Now, the shortest that it can be made is 13 and a half. With a two and a half inch extender. So 16 and a quarter. It is very short. But that is very reminiscent of vintage jewelry. You don't see very much vintage jewelry that has really long length necklaces. Because I guess those women had little bitty necks. I don't know. <laughs> yep. Our so. body changed over the years. Yep. So. Start at five dollars, guys. I was thinking after this, would you want to come on my channel so I can do Darlene's box that I, I got after tonight? Yeah, we can do that. So after oh, yep. that okay. done, and I can start sorting all that stuff. <laughs> yeah, we can do that. It'll um, be my jewelry jar in a chat, but it'll be a box instead of a yeah. Jar. You could actually easily add an extender to this. In fact. Whoever buys it, if you want, I probably have one of these that could be, um, no, you wouldn't even need that. You know what? All you'd need to do is um, add you a, that hook add off and add chain, chain to right it. here. Yeah, add you a piece of chain to right here, and you could extend it and hook onto the chain. Yeah. Yeah, that would be an easy way to extend that. Or just put more yeah. chain on the end. Or with you could put more chain in between this this loop here. And, yeah, you could put your chain there, too. So, yeah, easy way. Easy, easy, easy way. Yep, easy way to add extension there to add the chain between the two. So, I was saying the same thing, Pat. I got a necklace today that I wanted to keep for myself, but it won't fit my neck. <laughs> anybody, five dollars. If nobody wants, if any, if you're not interested, I need a pass on it. If I can get a couple of passes, we'll go on, and I'll put this on Etsy. Got a pass from Pat. Anybody else want to pass? Skywatch oh. said five. My Skywatch says she wants it for five. So, since she bid on it, we'll let her have it for five dollars, okay? I'm just going to... Every I had passes. Okay, Robin, you got it for five dollars. 
Okay, guys. That was the tenth thing. We're going to give away. We're going to give away this black necklace right here. Okay. Yeah, we got her. Francis sold it to her. We're going to give away this necklace right here. It's black. You don't have had to buy anything. Um, even if you live in Canada, you're eligible, okay? Uh, because I know we have several Canadians here. I'll send it the cheapest way possible, and it may take a while to get there, but I will send it. So, anyway, giveaway time. So, okay. We're going to do this Barbie's way because Barbie's way is a good way to do this. So everybody who's been on Barbie's channel, you know how she does giveaways. When I say start, I want you to pick a number between one and a hundred. And I'm writing down the number right here. And I'm writing down the number and, uh, when I say stop, that'll be the last one. So, okay, everybody, start putting your numbers in now. One Between 1 and 100, start putting in your numbers. Start. Yeah, I'll send it to Mars, Cherry. It might not get there for a while, but I'll send it. <laughs> While they're doing that, I'm going to run to the restroom. I'll be right back. Sounds good. Hey, Barbie. Welcome. Welcome, honey. Okay, if you put in the same number as somebody else, you don't get to put in twice. I'm sorry. And that one's hard. Barbie, I'm so sorry about Max. That just breaks my heart. I know I think I've told this before, but in October of 2016, no, was it October? Yeah, October of 2016 when Dave fell dead in his barbershop. In, uh, he fell dead in November. Um, we had to put our dog down. She had cancer. And uh, um, I was so lonely when we would come home from the hospital because she always slept with us. <clears throat> anyway, but I could not have faced coming home and finding her gone so she had cancer and she had tumors the tumors started coming so fast we couldn't keep up with them and she had a big one on the side of her face that changed the whole shape of her face and it was eating a hole in her face and she cried all the time she hurt so bad and so it was a hard decision but we made it and had her put down so so anyway so but there's nothing like losing a pet i mean yeah, you'll be on tomorrow as usual with smiles. Yeah, Max wouldn't want y'all to be sad for him. Dog, that's the good thing about dogs. They love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. But they, you know, they don't like for you to be sad. So, anyway, I used to have a little dog that we used to travel with. And every time I'd cry, he'd lick my tears as they'd fall. Yeah. So, anyway, so. Yeah. Okay, we're ready. Everybody got your number in. Everybody got a number in? We are ready to stop, I do believe. Okay. It looks like everybody got a number in. So. It don't matter. Right. Okay. Did you type stop for me? I did. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Okay. So what magic yeah. number? 57. Here's the number. 57. I saw some 56s, but let's just go okay. down here. And yeah, see. I don't see any 57s. And we got Francis and for you two, Jewelry, Maury. But on my yeah. screen, Francis typed it first. So on my screen, Francis typed it first too. So yeah. So anyway. So. Okay, so uh, Francis, you won. You won. Congrats. You won. Yay, Francis! Let's get Francis a bag here. Now, Francis, that gives me 
I get this shipped to you. I've been waiting to ever since I told you I had this for you. I haven't shipped anything to you. So oh, anyway. she says she wants to give it to Maury. Oh, give it to Maury. Okay. We'll give it to Maury then. Maury, I do not have your information. So if you can email me your information, that would be awesome because I have never sold to Maury. So. Thanks, Francis. You're a sweetheart. Okay. Whew. I don't know about y'all, but I'm hot. <laughs> I had yeah. to turn the fan off because I was cold. Okay. Let us continue on. There we go. You can just email me at, at the address that april just put on up let me uh here we go i lost me and it's a scary feeling to lose yourself <laughs> so, number 11 is where we are april is that what number you've got yeah oh, well i had number 11 but i kind of put number 11 as the first giveaway so, but I got you. I mean, I'm doing it in order that we're presenting everything. So, okay. You could, you probably skip number seven, which was our pass. I put pass, but yeah, I kept an order. It's just that I use number 11 as the first giveaway. Okay. Okay. Well, this is two vintage. I don't know what you call them. I call them air balls. Those are cool. <laughs> <laughs> they are little metal balls and they can be smushed because some of them when I first got them were a little smush and I've had to reshape them. So I'm selling them both together. You've got this one with black and you've got this one with little gold and they've got little rose box clasp. And now there's metalware on the box clasp. But uh, um, anyway, so the we're going to start. <laughs> Little squishy balls. Yep, this one here is a little squished in. But let me tell you what I've learned is you can take, because there's holes in the top of them, you can take, and I'm trying to get in there to it. You can take like a, I've got a crochet hook here and pop it out. And I just popped that one right back out. So, isn't that crazy? So we're going to start the bidding at these on for three dollars and uh, air balls. Yes, they're air balls. So we're going to start the bidding at these for three dollars. And um, I liked big smooshy balls better. <laughs> balls. Look, we can't go there because I am of the Saturday Night Live era that remembers that stupid sketch so <laughs> anyway so we got to be nice mm -hmm. yep somebody's messaging me let's see who's messaging me beta beta hey beta what you telling me <laughs> Well, that's not working for me. <laughs> Anybody bidding on these, April? No, not yet. Not yet. Y'all are too busy being naughty, aren't y'all? Am I going to have to put y'all in timeout? <laughs> um, Cherry says she, her lips are sealed. <laughs> I'm just glad Des is not here for this one right now here. <laughs> This one would get totally out of hand if Des was here. <laughs> she's like, so. she's way worse than I am about stuff. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. Oh. Okay. That wasn't De that wasn't Beta that was messaging me. So Sandra Hart, hello. So anyway, just April. So anyone needs <laughs> Charlene. That's me. Blaming <laughs> me. She don't know she was cooking dinner. <laughs> so 
aren't they pretty though they they have a real pretty look at the sparkle to the to the metal oh they're mm -hmm. really pretty anybody want to go three dollars on these guys three dollars gives you two necklaces this is oh this is a hoot i love des i'm just being being ornery saying that when it comes to to uh things like this des she gets on it and goes so let's call her you would not believe what oh i would believe what she <laughs> sent you in the mail yes i would i've she seen some mail. of her stuff i bet it was one of those keychains or something <laughs> that she showed me so here i got another one i got another i got another ball that's collapsed let's uncollapse the balls she was very naughty <laughs> Uh, tell Des, and I've told this to her face, so I wouldn't, I mean, not to her face, but in chat. that To her hanging, ear. <laughs> hanging out with her is like hanging out with a 12-year-old little boy. <laughs> so it is because she's naughty, and then she just giggles about it like a little boy does. <laughs> I raised little boys, and so I know exactly what hanging around with 12-year-old little boys is like. So... Everybody's like, what did everybody wants to know? Des has no limits. So, <laughs> so anyhow, anybody, did anybody bid $3? If not, we're going to pass on these. I didn't see any bids. I think they'd still be cool on Etsy because they're vintage enough to go on Etsy. Yeah. Anyway, so well, everybody wants to know, dude, now. <laughs> did you get one of the naked men uh, keychains? Is it? Aren't they naked men? Um, the ones she showed me were two individuals, one female, one male, that were oh. articulated. <laughs> we'll just oh, put it that yes. way. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I remember those. So, anyway. Okay, we're going to pass on these guys. So, nobody needs no balls. <laughs> Where's oh, Dwayne no. at tonight? So, <laughs> No gold ones. Okay, and let's see. That's number eleven. Ooh, my friend is not here tonight, and y'all know who I'm talking about. Carla's not here, but we've got this big Ooh, kitty cool. cat brooch. Only he's really like like a panther, and uh, I don't know what he is. I just don't know. I mean, he's metal. I don't think he's silver, but he almost looks like tarnished silver, but he looks highly lacquered, so I don't know. <laughs> anyway, we're going to start him at $3. He's a brooch. He's got green eyes. Both of his eyes are there. I'm sorry, you said three? Yeah, we're going to start him at three. Thank you, Maury. I appreciate it. Start at $3 on this. Kitty cat. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Ain't it neat? <laughs> hey Vita, I've got another kitty cat brooch too, hon. He's setting like the Egyptian style cats. Yeah. Like yeah. So anyway, but uh, yeah, I couldn't see where you signed anywhere. As you can see, this is what makes me think he might be tarnished. So Vita's in at three. Cheryl's in at three. Vita came there. Cheryl's in at four. Meow. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Big green eyes. There's a cat that likes to hang out in my shed out back. All winter, he thought my lawnmower was his own private bed. He slept <laughs> on my lawnmower. And he's gray. Dark, dark charcoal gray. And he has the most odd green eyes. They're almost like lime green. I've never seen a cat with eyes that color. So we've got Cheryl in at four. Anybody want to go five? Yes, I got you. I got you, Maury. Thank you very much. I got it. I'm pretty sure. I saw where you said it, so... Got Vita in at five.
we're getting really close to 300 on the uh, glam squad too so we'll Ooh. be ready for another giveaway that'll be my giveaway won't it i think so because i did one Des did one yep that'll be mine so i'll have to think of something really cool okay i haven't got it yet maury but that doesn't mean anything sometimes i don't get things so uh cheryl says she's out it's gonna take me just a second because for some reason my youtube was acting goofy you had to refresh it said i was signed out of chat and then it kept flickering i don't know what happened oh, don't do that so he's cute All right, I have sold to Vita for five dollars. Thank you, Vita. Okay. Okay, all you pearl lovers and stuff, y'all just know I've got some pearly things. So this is another necklace that Vita fixed for me. And uh this is looks like faux pearls it don't i don't think it says anything on it if it does it says japan but i don't think it says anything i think i looked at it earlier no it doesn't say anything so it's a little double strand and then this is a single strand and you didn't fix these vita because i just got these in just recently this is a little single strand and they're not real these are not real they're both faux, and this is a box clasp, and the other one is a hook and latch, and they're both faux pearls, and we're going to start these at $2. Hey, Nif Nif, how are you? $2, guys. $2. These are vintage. $2. Next up is Trafari. Then there's a brooch and earring set, another brooch and earring set. Whoa, that one, I just not dumped it. So, there. There we go. Hold those up. These here are, they have a pearlescent finish on them, but they're like a flat bead. Mm -hmm. Classic faux. They almost feel like this is crazy, but they almost feel like um, sugar babies or a what is the one that has caramel in it? Milk duds. They almost feel like that. I, I like need sugar babies. <laughs> I need candy. <laughs> I haven't had candy in a few days. So anybody want to bid on these? If not, I'm going to pass. Anybody? Balls Cherry. over. Cherry Ball. started it again. <laughs> Cherry started it again. Cherry Berry, am I going to have to put you in timeout? <laughs> I'm teasing. You know that. I would never put anybody in timeout. I didn't put my own kids in timeout, so... So anybody, you're going to get them banned. Please don't get us banned. This is how we make our living. You actually decorate with pearls. Cool. So anyway, okay, we're going to pass mm -hmm. on those. Don't eat them. <laughs> Damn, nope. This one here is cute, and it is Trafari. You can't see? No, she's talking about um, Barbie's decorating with the oh, pearl. Okay. You're scaring me. Giving me a heart attack. Okay, guys. This is Trafari. And I don't know if this is just strung too tight or what, but it is not a smooth necklace. But it is definitely signed Trafari. This is not being redone. Well, after I've done that, it, it 
started hanging right. But it is signed Trafari. They are white beads with grooves in them with little gold spacers. And we're going to start this necklace at $3. Trafari, $3. Anybody? Oh, you're going to ban me? Beverly mm -hmm. Hillbillies. Yeah, we remember Beverly Hillbillies. Come listen to a story about a man named Jed. Poor mountaineer, better kept the same fed. What size is it? Oh, it's not very long. I can tell you that right now. Then one day he was looking for some food, and up from the ground came that bubbling crude. See, Darlene got on to me, and look at her. <laughs> they are 16 inches long. Yes, with Ellie Mae. That makes me want to watch that show. I haven't watched it in so long. I used to watch it with my grandmother. One of the funniest memes I seen the other day, and I saw this just recently, was a picture of Granny and Uncle Jed standing out in front of the White House. <laughs> and it said, the folks up here make Jethro look like a a, a genius. <laughs> <laughs> so from what I can see around here, Je Jethro's a genius or something like that. It made me laugh. So, I see Nancy at four. Sandra Conco was three. Nancy's at four. Oh my gosh, Darlene! Oh no, she That's what I was talking her. about. <laughs> Darlene is the mother of boys. Yeah. But my daughter oh, my is like just like the boys. She's the middle child, so she picks it up from both sides. Pearl, 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 don't you marry Earl? <laughs> Earl, Pearl, Pearl, don't you marry Earl? Pearl, Pearl, Pearl. Don't you marry Earl? Yes, indeed. <laughs> Darlene. <laughs> oh, my Lord. This is a PG. No, this is a G rated show, okay? Y'all turn it keep it Disney over R. here. <laughs> yeah, y'all turn it R. Uh, Sandra, we have uh, Nancy Candela in at four, so you'll have to go at least 450. Barbie, that's Jethro's mom, right? Pearl, yes. At least 450, but I prefer five. I prefer not to do 50 cent bids over here. Although, Barbie, she'll, she'll revolt on me like she did the other <laughs> night. So, anyway, anybody want to go five? <laughs> Dump water. <laughs> oh, Lord. Is I don't, that a, I don't that even want to know. I don't want to ask. I'm scared now. You guys are <laughs> scaring me. I'm with Jude. I don't know what that means. I've never heard it before. You are making me blush. See, even Joe knows. Hey, Joe. <laughs> mm. You're going to be matching your shirt. <laughs> yeah. Um, All right, we got Sandra at five. Sandra, you knew that you had a senior moment. Um, what bar? What the the phrase that Darlene used? I'd never heard that before, and somebody said it around me, and I asked my son what it was, and he's like, "Mama, I don't want to tell you." I said, "Okay, I'm gonna look it up on Google," and he said, "No, Mama, I'll tell you what it is. Don't look it up on Google." <laughs> oh, anyway. Oh my gosh. So Nancy's in at six. And Sandra's out. So at least he loved me enough to protect me, protect my eyes. So. Yeah, I looked it up, Cherry. It says a nasty tasting beer or other liquor. That's what it says. Some water, yeah. Yeah, I didn't know. <laughs> so uh, Sandra says she's out if you want to count. Right. Nancy. Let's move on to something besides. What well, were the balls talk? So <laughs> let's move on to brooches and earrings, something like that. <laughs> but the other. 
I need this bigger bag. Pearl, pearl. Oh, wait a minute. Pearl. I'm calling it. I'm calling it wrong. Oh. Yeah, I see. I see you, Nancy. I just realized. So we got sold to Nancy for six dollars. That was just my bad. Yeah, <laughs> sold to Nancy. Hey, Kathleen Brent, how are you? Pearl, pearl, pearl. Don't you marry Earl? Hey, Kathleen. Uh, that was Nancy Candela. Mm-hmm. Nancy, six dollars. Was it? Is it Candela or Candela? I don't know. Do you like those old shows? We watch a lot of meat TV. So we have this little brooch that has these little, has this little hole. You can probably hook glasses or something like that on it. Has this little sunburst pattern on it. It's a little brooch. And then it has, then we have these little earrings. And let's see. I've tightened them down on each other so that now I can't get them apart. They're screw backs. And they have the same sunburst pattern inside their heart. Oh, my word. <laughs> Cindy Gale, you are just a nut here. There we go. Okay. Okay. So, let's see. Turn it around, Cindy Lee Bob. Turn it around. There we go. <laughs> I was holding it upside down. There we go. Okay, and they have the same sunburst pattern inside the little heart. And let's see if I do this. There. Ooh, I see it now with the little blue rhinestone. So we got this little set, and we're going to do a buy it now for $3 on this. A buy it now for $3, okay? <clears throat> and I'm going to tell you what the word. Buy it now. Mm, I don't know what song that is. Hey Jude. <laughs> that would be my guess, that song. Uh, okay, here's the earrings. And I showed you the thing. Buy it now for $3. Going to count to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If you want to buy this vintage... If you want to buy this vintage set for $3, all I need you to do is type in the word sun, S-U-N, sun, sun, for sunburst pattern, sun, sun, sun. I need the word sun if you want this set for $3, sun. Sun, S U N. Got you, Cherryberry. That's who I see. Oh, wait. Let me make sure I'm not on top chat. Yep, I see. I see Cherryberry. Was she first? Okay. She's the only one I see. Okay. Because I've actually got it on my top chat and not live chat. Congrats, Cherry. Got you, Cherry. Okay, now these are milk glass. They are marked Japan. They are very heavy because they are glass. They're a double strand with a box clasp. No, not a box clasp. They have a hook clasp. Hook clasp. Hook. But they have these little things that look like box clasp. And these are milk glass. They are very heavy. Okay. And they're about the same length, that 14 to 16 inch length. So we're going to uh, start the bidding on these for $3. Yeah, I had lots and lots of white to that. I mean, like lots of white, but we're we're almost done with the white. We're fixing to get into some other colors. So, um, I do have some more strands of uh, faux pearls that are coming out. A real long strand too, not a hundred inch or, but a real long one. 
anyway we're going to start the bidding at these on three dollars so this is mm, this is um milk glass we've got robin in at three dollars See what I've done. I mixed up my bags there. Yeah, I got you, Robin, at three dollars. <throat> I just can't seem to quench my thirst today. <sighs> I don't know what that this is. This is the first time in a while that I've not had a headache. There is a there is a brooch in here that uh, that. Cherryberry is going to love. Did she get the earrings yet? Yeah, she got her cherry earrings. Okay. She loved them too. Awesome. Yeah. She loved them. So, didn't you love the cherry earrings, your little cherries? Because I bought those from April for you. So she they were adorable. They were adorable, yes. So, anybody? Anybody else? Three dollars. We got Patty in at four. This is milk glass. My little thing was looking a lot better. I I rolled it with the um, lint roller. I found a lint roller at my mother-in-law's house, so I brought it home. So I got one of those, but I ended up buying a lint shaver too, because with the clothing, a lot of times I need to shave off some of those little lint balls. Yeah, we my, my mother in law had a great big one had like a head on it about that big around a, a lint brush shaver. Uh -huh. The one the one that I had was always just a little bitty one. We've got my only, yeah, yeah. You posted them on Instagram. I saw them on Instagram. That's where I saw them. So uh, did you not see them on Instagram? You may not have seen them. I did. I might not have seen them on Instagram. I saw some of her other stuff she shared she with me. Tagged me. That's why I seen them. I should have tagged you. My sky watch is in at five. Anybody want to go six dollars on these? Six dollars. <laughs> she said she wore them five times already. <laughs> wow. Okay, Pat Hood. Do you want to go six dollars or are you out, hun? These are really pretty. I like no glass. Okay. Count. And sold to Robin for five dollars. Thank you, Robin. Okay, guys, we got a faux pearl set in purple. Purple. Now, somebody's going to recognize this because she's the person that sent this to me. Although she may be in timeout right now. You have a <laughs> chin full of bowlies. And we've got this little drop earring that goes with it. And we have a little bracelet that goes with it and the bracelet and the necklace are strung on wire okay so we have these eggplant colored eggplant colored pearls faux pearls with earrings and a bracelet and this is going to be an auction and we're going to start this auction at um we're going to start at four dollars guys four dollars beautiful color beautiful color and this bracelet i believe it's big enough to actually fit me too so and they remind the me color. of like cherry seeds you know like the black cherry seeds when you uh -huh, the little like cherry seeds so it is a really nice set mm -hmm. so
Did you say those are glass or are those plastic beads? Um, actually, I think they may be glass because I don't know. They kind of feel like glass. They're really heavy. So my guess is, hey, Carmen. Oh, uh, Carmen, yesterday we couldn't even get it. We were going to have our, au our craft auction. We couldn't even get on to do it. So YouTube has had some trouble this weekend. So they either crashed or they were updating their system or something. I think they were doing an update of some kind because I noticed some things that are a little bit different. So we got Nancy in at $4. Anybody want to go five? Oh my gosh. Cool. So. Anybody want to go five? This is a really nice set. Yeah, earrings, bracelet, and a necklace. So, hmm. Hey, Terry Berry. I don't know. I mean, I really don't think your real name is Cherry, but I actually have a real name. I have actually have a real friend named Cherry. Uh, one of my friends that. Uh, well, my brother's first girlfriend, her mom's name is Cherry. And then I have a friend that just got married and his wife's name is Cherry. So Robin is, is my Skywatch is at five. So I actually have friends named Cherry besides <laughs> Cherry Berry. I love Cherry Blossoms. Me too. Me too. And we actually call one of my friends named Cherry. We call her Cherry Berry. <laughs> <laughs> or we call her Cherry Bell a lot of times too, Cherry Bell. So, where we got what? She was saying she was knitting some uh, fingerless gloves, and then Ken dropped the cordless drill off the ladder. It scared her. She thought he had fell off, and then she dropped some of her stitches, so she couldn't pick them back up. She had to start over again. Oh, <laughs> men, they're always scaring us, aren't they? So. We've got Robin in at five. Nancy came in at six. These are so pretty. I love the color. They they make me think of eggplant color. Mm -hmm. They're the color of an eggplant. You had a doll in 1965 named Cherry. Mm -hmm. 1965 was a great year. A great year. Was the year I was born. So I love cherries. I love, 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 love bean cherries. I can eat them until I puke. <laughs> so you're talking about the dark ones? The dark ones, yes. yes I eat those I like they're them. go. I mean, I can sit down with the whole bag and just devour it. <laughs> this cherry. Oh, so you couldn't pronounce it and it sounded like cherry. And so all the kids in school thought it was cherry was, and it stuck. That's cute. That's a cute, cute story. I love it. And I have sold to Nancy for $6. Thank you, Nancy. Appreciate you, ma'am, very much. I do, I do, I do. Okay. This time we got real pearls. Oh, let me make sure I'm on the right number. Yes, real pearls. We have these little freshwater pearls in this. And we have these little black thing, black glass beads. And it's got a barrel clasp and it's a twisty necklace and we're going to do a bite now on this we're going to do a bite now for three dollars no we're going to do a bite now for four dollars i just realized those are real pearls in there bite now for four dollars okay hey gal a how are you 
It's very <laughs> likely that that's onyx too, because I find when I find those, they're all usually natural stones and pearls and stuff. Yeah. So, but we're going to do a buy it now for four dollars, guys. Four dollars. So, I'm writing it down on my list. Four dollars. Okay. So I'm going to count, and then I'm going to tell you what word to type in. Okay. One, two. Buckle my shoe. Three. Four, shut the door. Five, six, pick up stick. Seven, eight, lay them straight. Nine, ten, begin again. Okay, if you want to buy this necklace with freshwater pearls and these black beads, which I do not know what art, what they are, but they could be onyx. They feel like glass. Um, but I know these are freshwater pearls. Uh, if you want to buy it for four dollars, I need you to type it in the word fresh, fresh, fresh. Look what I got, honey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I gotta get some of that clove. Casey took that down to Flo uh, Florida when we went, and he was using it like every day, and it smelled so good. Three bags, all right, Kathleen. I haven't bought bags in forever. All right, Jude got yeah. it. Jude got it. Thank you, Jude. And I do have some more natural stone jewelry that we're going to get to in a little bit. Let's see. Make sure I got all my numbers straight. Okay. These are two pairs of vintage earrings. They are not signaturely signed. They have no signature on them, but they are definitely vintage. They're clip-ons. This one here. Where's Ken when we need him? Ken, <laughs> this one looks like thermoset. Uh-oh. <laughs> and this one here actually has a very much Sarah Coventry look, but I don't see no signature anywhere on it. So, actually, is that a signature up in there? If it is, it's not Sarah Coventry. Oops. Because <laughs> it's not long enough for Sarah Coventry. Nope. No signature. Okay. So, you've got these little silver-looking fans. Mm, nope. And you've got these little... Smoky blue gray, what looks like thermoset, sitting in a ribbon, and they're clip ons. We've got two pairs of earrings. We're going to start the bidding at $3 on these. $3. He's coming to see. Uh -huh. He's been able to see thermoset, hasn't he? So, anyway, but these little fans, these have such a Sarah Coventry look to me. Little swirls. And then this here, these little, they look like thermoset. Okay, we're going to start at $3. They're big bags. Why? Yay, Kathleen. You're going to do a haul on your video? On your YouTube? Start the bidding at $3 on two pairs of earrings. Yep, that's what it is. <laughs> Thanks, Ken. I needed an expert's opinion. <laughs> yeah. Always depend on Ken. So, anyway, anybody, three dollars. Ooh, they look you know, they look better back here than they did up close, don't they? Anybody gonna bid three dollars on these? I need three. Come on, give me three. Give me three. Give me three. I've been watching uh, um, uh, what the hails? Does anybody besides me watch what the hails? Anyway, I've been watching what the hails channel, and they are they go to auctions and the guy bids. And I always want to try to, to bid. Give me three. Give me three. I need three. I need three. I need three. I just can't get down the cadence. So, Nancy, uh, uh, Cherry, beat, Cherry beat you in. Okay, Nancy and my Skywatch Cherry beat y'all in. So, y'all going to have to go higher than three, guys. I'll be right back again. <laughs> he thinks everything is thermoset. I know. That's why I said that while ago. So, 
This is lot number 19, guys. We're moving along. I got Cherry Berry in at three. I need four dollars. We're bidding on these. We're not, it's not a buy it now. Hey, Cricket. Cricket number one, Cricket number two is here also tonight. So, anyway, I need higher than three. I need uh, something higher than three to advance this, the bid on these. I've got I've got Cherry Berry in at three. She came in first, guys. So uh, anybody want to go 350 or four? 350 is the minimum, but if you want, or four. So we got Cheryl in at four. You're bidding on two pairs of earrings here. Oh, my gosh. Barbie, you got to see these next ones. Cherry's at five. This is something that Barbie's talked about for a while, but I've never seen it in earrings form. So, got Cherry Berry's in at five. Cheryl says she's out. We're going to start counting to Cherry Berry. Going one time at $5. Going two times at five dollars. Okay, Cherry Berry. This is everybody's last warning. If you want, if you don't want, if you want to bid on these, you better bid now. Cindy, say it. Spit it out. Going three times at five dollars. And sold to Cherry Berry. Thank you, Cherry. I'm back. <laughs> hey, back. I'm front. I needed something to munch on. I'm so hungry. That salad just didn't do it all day. That's all I've had. No, I haven't seen her hair. I've not been, been, I've been kind of uh, uh, binge watching Cincinnati Picker lately and, and Lonnie of Garage Flips. Okay. The reason that I said these make me think of Barbie is because she was the one that was talking about she wanted some, uh, a scarab bracelet. And I found these scarab earrings and they're screw on and I've never seen a scarab earring. Have you ever seen a scarab earring? I always found bracelets and necklaces and such, but never the earrings. Look at those. Aren't they? Are, they, are they stone or glass or if you tap them they're together? Glass. They're glass. Nice. Wipe my, wipe my DNA off. <laughs> they're screw back earrings. And we're going to bid on these guys, and we're going to start the bidding on these at three dollars. They're just too cool, very, very cool. Three dollars. So you want a scarab bracelet really bad? I have a scarab watch, scarab bracelet watch that a uh, that a uh, um, Susan Gill fixed for me that uh, she's going to send back. So I may still have some scarab stuff. I'll let you know, Cherry, if I can find anything scarab that I still have. I know. I wish they weren't screw back either. But you know what? I bet you could. I mean, I don't think they would be worse than wearing a clip-on. And some of the clip-ons are real comfortable. You, could you can break that off and then just um, adhere a post on the back of it because they have those posts at the Hobby Lobby and stuff. Yeah. So we've got Patty in at three, Jen in at four. What does scarab mean? Look, scarab actually means beetle, doesn't it? A scarab what? is a type of beetle, and these were, these are um like that Egyptian revival style jewelry. Okay, do you see the beetle on that's carved into the glass? There's actually a beetle carved into the glass. That's what the carvings are. I'm trying to get it off my face. There. You can see it there. It's carved into the glass. The beetle. 
So, anyway, it's the carved motif. It's an Egyptian beetle. So, okay, we've got Patty in at five. Anybody want to go six? Pat's in at five. Hi, Angie. <laughs> hey, Angie. All of a sudden, she wants the bid. That's what happens when you just lurk. Why aren't you in here talking to us? Although, you have to be careful with this crowd tonight. I'm telling you. They've been <laughs> rowdy. They're trying to get me banned off of YouTube. We're rowdy, rowdy, and bowdy, bowdy tonight. <laughs> I got Angie in at six. They are, they are screw-ons, but... They are some cool scarab earrings. Vita's in at seven. We said beetles and here comes Vita. <laughs> I call Vita, Vita, Vita. She loves her beads. I just switched my letters around. And she loves beetles too. Her name, her beetles, beetles beads. I got to maybe Thursday night. I'm going to offer some of Vita's jewelry again in my Facebook auction. So anyway, you did hear the necklace ball stories. That was, I turned red for that one. <laughs> in at eight, I did. I turned red for that one. That one was uh, quite the story. Anyway, did you get where, did you get to see the, in ancient religion, a scarab represented immortality and resurrection. Mm -hmm. I love beetles too. You love the beetles too. Angie, you're here now. Did you get to see this? Did you get to see my... Uh, it's... Crap. It says it's a domicine. A domicine butterfly. Uh, he, it's what he listed it as. I bought it from Blue Bus Dave. I love his channel. He's funny. So, anyway, and it is definitely carved and laid in there. So, anyway, so, okay, where are we? We've got Angie at eight. Angie at eight. Hey, now, you're a rock star. Put your game on. Dun, dun, dun. Going twice, going three times. And sold to Angie for eight dollars. Sold to Angie. Thank you, Angie. Congrats, Angie. Okay, guys, that was number 20. So it's time for a giveaway. We're gonna right. give away the necklace right here. You know, uh, April, you're welcome to put your number in too, hun. Because okay. I'm not, showing, I'm not showing you the number, so you're welcome to put a number in too. So we're gonna scratch I that number out. About it. <laughs> okay. Everybody, start and go. You can put in, put in your numbers. Is, is it Can a one to a hundred again? One to a hundred, yes. And whoever wins mm. is this one right here. There's my number. I like that start. one. Everybody start. So Cheez-Its got creative and now they're calling their Cheez-Its extra toasty. Which really means burnt cheese it. <laughs> oh, okay. You know what I like to do is I like to actually put, uh, hey, Groovy Granny, I didn't know you were here. Uh, I like to uh, put cheese, a pile of cheese in the oven and let it melt and crisp up. And that's wow. a cheese it for me. I love that. So, and I will ship this to wherever, whoever wins it. If you, even if you live overseas, I will ship it. Or you live in Canada. Gross on the burnt Cheez-Its or gross on my melted 
baked cheese because melted baked cheese is not gross it's yummy so i used to do the same thing i just take a hunk of cheese and melt it down and eat it with a fork <laughs> um, i'm a cheese aholic <laughs> everybody getting everybody getting their uh Everybody getting their numbers in. Everybody getting their numbers in. These aren't truly my snacks. These are his snacks. But I didn't have any snacks. So that's fruit. Oh, fruit is my ultimate. I love fruit. So mm. everybody, everybody said their number. What you tell me when and I'll I'll type okay. stop. Ha, have they stopped? Mm-mm. <laughs> we'll put numbers in. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm I'm fixing to stop it because uh it looks like nearly everybody's got a number in. So okay, stop. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> Here's the number. 37. I'm so far off. <laughs> 37. So I saw somebody up there with the number 36. Got 34, 39. I'm thinking maybe Robin. Okay. And you said it was 37. It's 37. I don't know if anybody's in right at 37. Okay, here we go. 39 would be the closest, and that would be Robin, my Skywatch. Are you sure? Because I'm sure I saw 36. Unless it's just not showing up in my chat. I don't see 36. Oh. I see 63, which was me. <laughs> okay. If I had 30. inverted the numbers, if I had changed them around... 39 then it's robin skywatch yep congrats robin okay congratulations robin thank you gail has 34 so okay thank you francis <laughs> two for helping check that out Ben. There we go. There we go. Okay. So next up is two pairs of glass earrings. Uh, and one of these is an art glass from Italy, and it's marked Italy right on the flopper down here the uh, clip on this part right here on the side is marked Italy and these are orange swirly uh, almost makes me think of Murano glass a lot mm -hmm. uh, they're marked Italy and then we've got these glass beads that also make me think of Just making sure they're not signed anything. I didn't look them over as close. In fact, I don't think I looked at them. Oh, wait. Yeah, these are marked Italy, too. Made in Italy, also. And they, too, look like a Murano glass. You've got an orange with a little pinky. Orangey brown with a little pinky. And they're clip-on. So, you've got two pairs. We're going to start the bidding at these for... Uh, Two pairs of glass earrings, vintage, I do believe. Uh, and we're going to start the bidding at $3. Yep, they look like Murano glass. Start at three. Bougie's bidding on these. Mm -hmm. My daughter would love those if I put some posts on the back. They're pretty.
Anybody want to go four? Okay, I'm about to stop eating these. Oh my goodness. Anybody want to go four dollars? Kitty just came in. <laughs> Don't worry about him getting near your jewelry. He won't come near me. He doesn't like me. Vita's in at four. <laughs> He's my son's cat. The only time I'm allowed to pet him, the only time, literally, the only time he comes to let me pet him is if I'm fussing at my son. <laughs> he come and get between us and want me to pet him to do divert my attention so <laughs> anyway that's so funny uh, it makes me laugh he's so silly or if my son's here he'll let me pet him if my son's here but he will never come to me just come to me i love kitties too yeah murano we don't have any I, kitties i drive a murano <laughs> a nissan murano so, Vooj is out. Is that an SUV or a sedan? Yeah, SUV. Yeah. It's an SUV. It's the uh, middle size SUV they have that Nissan makes. Their smallest one is the Rogue, then the Murano, then the Pathfinder. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Actually, at, well, then they have the Armado, which is the great big one, which is, would be like equivalent to the Ford Expedition. So... But uh, anyway, I love my Murano. I love it. Yep. Yep. He's my grandkitty, but he don't doesn't let me spoil him. But I will have to say too, mine is a 2010 uh, Angie. I just paid mine off too. So, but I didn't buy it until 2014. So. Uh. I will say that he wasn't like he is until after my husband got sick. Before my husband got sick, he was fine with us loving on him and all that. And after the the dog, we had to have the dog put down in October. Then my husband got sick in November. And then life, everything about life changed. So at our house. Sold to Vita for $4. Sold to Vita for $4. Thank you, Vita. Okay, here we go. We got some faux pearls. Now we're getting into the fun stuff. Well, after these faux pearls, y'all know I'm not a big pearl person anyway. So we have this one double strand that is a hook and eye one. And then we have this one um, real long one that is uh, 34 inches. And it has a box clasp. And it has a really cute box clasp. It has that little faux pearl on the box clasp. And then it does that. It's 34 inches. So we've got these two, two pairs of. And this one is what I call almost silver white. And this is like a warm white. Like a cold white, cool white, and a warm white. Does that make sense to y'all? But uh, anyway. So. Uh, we're going to start the bidding on these at $4. Start at $4, guys. These are nice necklaces. Just because I'm not a Pearl fan don't mean they're not nice. They're really nice necklaces. Start at $4. What makes you not like Pearls? What do you think? Um, I don't know. <laughs> they're... The, First of all, I'm not a huge bead fan, okay? Mm -hmm. You know that. I'm not a huge bead fan. But I, when I think of pearls, I just, uh, I think of like old ladies wearing their pearls. <laughs> I used to be the same way, though. I really didn't like pearls. I thought they were too plain or something. But I yeah. don't know. Over time, I, 
I grew to like them. And then, of course, I, there's so many colors that you can get them in now. Yeah. Jen Layton's in at four. I appreciate things in a different light than I did when I was younger. <laughs> yeah. These uh, came in a lot from Pennsylvania yesterday. Um, it was Saturday, I got a lot in from Pennsylvania and they came in it. So, several things in this came from Pennsylvania a lot. So, Your mom always said every girl should have at least one strand of pearls. See, my mom never thought you think of Audrey Hepburn, Hepburn and Pearls Classy. Mm -hmm. uh, Jackie and Barbara Bush, Audrey Hepburn. You love beads and pearls. I know Beta, you love beads. Beta loves beads. Anyway, uh, uh, my mom doesn't wear jewelry at all. My mom doesn't even wear her wedding rings because she sews and she quilts hand quilts and her knuckles are too big for the uh for for her rings but uh she has jewelry and she collects brooches that she pins to the wall <laughs> so anyway <laughs> but i gave her some uh i gave her a a, a c and a an s her initials and uh she pinned them on her on her jacket and wore it this summer this winter so she pinned them together. So you think of a coming out ball? Cotillion. Actually, you know, that may have to do with it. Because you gotta understand, I grew up in okay, I live in Podunk, but I grew up in even poor Dunker. Even more <laughs> of a Podunk town. I mean, big time podunk and uh uh we used to make fun of when they would post the pictures in the newspaper <clears throat> of the cotillion girls we'd make fun of them because we were just little rednecks <laughs> so I, was and say, were like, I didn't have anything like that where i'm at i've heard of a cotillion or whatever but we didn't have things like that. Okay, guys, this is vintage NOS, new old stock is what it is. I don't think it's ever been worn, but it is old. They are uh, gold filled, 120th, I think it said 14 karat gold filled, but I can't remember. So we'll peek and see. Of course, I would look on the side that's not marked. 120th 12 karat gold field and this is it says Austrian crystal and I don't know if you're going to be able to see the sheen in it it's almost got rainbow colors in that mm -hmm. and this little necklace and we're going to start the bids on this necklace at three dollars three dollars so Okay. Jennifer at three. Really pretty. That chain is so delicate. When, as soon as I saw that chain, I thought that chain is gold filled, just sure shooting. So I looked, and it is. But I love the rainbow effect in that. I don't know if it's catching it there or not but it has a rainbow and and it's always amazing how that you think they look really pretty on video and then you, people get them and they she's poor pua so so but uh anyway Oh, <laughs> hmm. so. 
Is your dad Jewish, Cherry? And I have sold to Jennifer for three dollars. Thank you. Thank you, Jennifer. Okay. This one here is the one that I said that uh, that I when I saw it, I said, "Oh, cherry berry's gonna like this." <laughs> <laughs> so, and this came from Pennsylvania too. So, it's a brooch, which we all know Cherry loves her brooches. Let's see if I can get into it. There we go. It is quite beautiful. Oh. Um. The little basket of flowers, roses, and we're going to start bidding on this at three dollars. We're going to start the bidding at three dollars, guys. There are roses, all different colored roses, and you've got the rhinestone basket. It is a brooch. It is not signed. Very vivid colors. I like that. The colors on it. I mean, I, I saw that from the, when I opened the box. That was one of the first things I saw. The colors on it are just, they're even brighter, really, than in person. Oh, no. Fine power, Pat. Fine power. <laughs> because these look like blue roses, and they're not. They're purple. Where's the kitty? He's neck. No. Yeah, they look very cobalt blue on the camera. Two. He's uh, about four in. He's in. He's coming up in a little bit. Vita. He's coming up in a little bit. <laughs> she got that other cat, didn't she? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She loves cats. So. Yeah. These are purple and uh, green. And these, uh, the one that. This is a mauve color, mm -hmm. and these are a lot more vivid green than they look, but this is a purple. It's not blue. So, Vita, uh, Cherry's already bid $3 on this. You got to go higher. I know you like roses, too. I got you some roses here, too, sweetie. You got to go up to four if you want to bid on this one, Vita. Cherry's already in at three. Yes, you already bid three already. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yepers. You're okay. You can bid four if you want. Vina's in at four. Cherry's in at five. This is so pretty. The colors on it, I just couldn't get over how bright the colors were. And the fact that it's not signed. Ow, I just hooked my finger. Okay. Yep, it's not signed. Okay. Out. Vita's out. Mm -hmm. mm. Clawing my hand. You must have fast internet. Sold a cherry for five dollars. 
Okay, guys, this next piece, we're going to start at $10, and you're all going, oh, Cindy, you never start anything that high. There's a reason. Okay, this is a sterling silver, vintage sterling silver bracelet. Okay, it is a rope chain. It is marked, and it is filthy dirty, but... People like their patina on their, on their silver, but uh, I swear if I drop one more thing, I might say a bad word. Probably not, but I might. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do my best to get my big loopy loop so you can see. What is on this? Okay. See that? It is a dogwood flower that is painted in ink on what looks like to be a bone charm encased in sterling. Okay. Be still. Be still. Okay. It is a dogwood. It is also signed. And let's see if I can get down here. Down here in the corner, it has a crisscross with half a T and a D. So, anyway, let's see if I can get it here, there. See that? It's a dogwood flower. I've looked this charm over really, really good. I do not see any Schrager lines. Do not see any Schrager lines on it. Um, and the bidding is $10, okay? Uh, the thing about the patina on this is this would shine up because I wiped it a little to see uh, if I could see if there were any marks on that. So it shines up. But the thing is, is with this black drawing on this white bone, it almost looks neater with it being dark like this. Now, I checked as close as I could. I never could see any Schrager lines in this for it to for me to call, say that it might be ivory cuz with ivory you can see the lines and I don't see any lines in this. So, I think it's bone or horn, but it is so pretty. It is so so pretty. So, very unique and to me looks very old. Yep, it does look very old. We have Joe but I don't Evans. think it's, it, it may be old, pretty old, but this, this kind of a hook, I don't know how old that is, that one there, with that little flat hook. So, yeah, the bracelet I don't think is original to the charm. So, anyway, may not be, so... We've got Joe in at 11. Polish, polish, polish. <laughs> See, I wouldn't polish it. I would wear it like this myself. But I'm not wearing it. Yep. I'm not wearing it. And I'm not. And I'm selling it like this. And and I don't polish none of my silver when I, when I sell it. So. And I do have some more silver that's coming too. I've got Vita in at 12. <laughs> Not much more, but I do have a, a silver bar brooch. Yep, it does look like just a pendant. You could always put this on a necklace if you wanted. Uh, Vita's already in at 12, Joe. There you go. And Joe, I don't know if I've sold to you before, so if I haven't, you'll need to email me your information at cndlovin at yahoo.com. Um, but you're welcome to go ahead and bid and e email that to me if you win something. So, it's so pretty. So delicate, too. It's just, it caught my eye, too. It was one of the first things that, it came in the same lot that that basket did. So, Vita's out. A micro lens. 
for on a camera or something I'm not using my phone on the I'm using a, a um, I'm using let's see what that does you can see it pretty good but you could see it really good while ago when it was focused in really good there I got one of those little blood blisters on my hand I think I pinched something working the other day there we go all right I have sold to Joe for $13 and she said she sent your her information a couple of weeks ago okay then I'll just go through my I'll go through my file and look for it okay that's fine so I kind of remember that <laughs> but I've slept many times since then so <laughs> okay oh dear there it is so I'm say I lost my flyer I lost my flyer and she won it for 13 right uh-huh yeah okay okay guys we got something come take these things these are nasty they're so cooked <laughs> not the extra burnt ones <laughs> okay we're going to start this slot at $13 too but we've got three natural stone necklaces in here we've got you said start at 10 okay start at 10 they've got these hooks and and I'll just tell you the truth I didn't check none of these to see if they were silver these hooks I didn't check them they're non-magnetic so I was I guess I was being lazy but they are box class you got this what looks to be Jade or adventuring it could be adventuring but I feel like it's Jade you've got this blue stone one with little white mother of pearl beads in it and they are all and then you've got this one that has rose quartz and we're going to start this is three dollars i mean we're going to start at ten dollars for all three necklaces so i'm going to see if the colors will show up better not really do they that light gets too bright but the colors don't show really well but you've got green what what looks like jade you've got this blue not sure what it is it could be a jade too with quartz and hey hey melissa and you've got uh rose quartz we've got hey dragonfly girl hey hun i got something for you let's see where they went and jude's asking on how long they are oh yes i can tell you how long they are i have something to show dragonfly girl that's for her so okay the green jade one is 16 inches the rose quartz one is 18 inches and the blue and the mother of pearl one is 18 inches also these two are 18 and this one here is 16. so all right jennifer said she's out dragonflies at 15. look here dragonfly girl can you see that so cute it's their wood but they're painted in glittery paint little dragonflies anyway i've been holding on to those for i showed them in a chat and i said uh, these are going to be for dragonfly girl anyway i've been holding on to them for several weeks i haven't seen you around so anyway are we sold i'm sold to dragonfly girl for 15. Sold the dragonfly girl. 
There's your free gift, Dragonfly Girl. Okay. Is anybody a Taurus? And I'm not talking about a car, okay? <laughs> this is an Avon set. It's in an Avon box. There's no padding or anything in the box. You've got a Taurus bull ring. Let's see if there he goes. Taurus the bull ring. And let's see what size he is. <gasps> Where's Barbara Mender Drill? Oh, no. <laughs> we haven't needed her all night long. <laughs> we haven't. That's been the only ring, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. She is not here. Barbara has left the building. Shame on her. Size six. It's a size six, I do believe. Maybe even a five and a half. And then you've got a bangle that says dependable loyal taurus has a mark of some kind and i can't read those words very good uh patient and practical so taurus we're going to start we're going to start this little taurus bangle and ring set we're going to start it at four dollars avon four dollars i don't do horse skirts neither but somebody might and they might just like it because they're born under the sign of the taurus so i don't know i don't take it too seriously but i, I you know i know i'm a scorpio and i'll buy things with like a scorpio on it because of it but i mean yeah. It's more or less just kind of fun, I guess. Not something to bet your bet your life on or anything. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Anyway, anybody? And that's a teeny tiny bracelet. So four dollars. Anybody want us to go on this? When you said it was Avon. Yep. It's Avon. It's from the 80s. So it's going to be vintage. And. Uh, and you have the original box too? I have a box. It doesn't oh. say it on it. Oh, okay. It's, I have an Avon box. Right. Might be. Uh, might be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I think that's a six. So it goes on my pinky real well. Um, anyway, anybody, I'm fixing to pass on it if we don't. Okay, we're going to pass. It's from the 80s. It can go on Etsy. <clears throat> yeah, and I bet it would do good on Posh, too, because a lot of young people are into their horoscopes. Okay, guys, this is four pairs of screw back earrings and we're going to do we're going to bid on these and we're going to start the bidding at four dollars a dollar a pair we're going to start at four dollars and they're all screw backs and they're all vintage hey brenda uh is brenda dragonfly girl that's probably who she's saying hey to mm, so not sure yeah. So I think I'm pretty sure it is. In fact, I know it. I think I'm 100% sure it is. So, okay, we've got these little flowers with little rosy, purpley, quartzy rhinestones uh, in them. And they're pinned back. Susan Gill, there you are, honey bunch. Susan, tomorrow afternoon at 2 o'clock. On this channel, we're having a craft auction. Craft auction. I have a craft beads lot. I have craft beads. We have these little faux pearl drops. Four dollars. We're starting at four dollars. These are all screw backs, so they're all vintage. 
-hmm. and we had these little pearls with this little wraparound thing on a dingle dangle thingy, my Bob. Thingies. <laughs> Gotta love that description. <laughs> You think that'll sell it on eBay? Oh, yeah. That had me dingle dangle thing, my Bob. <laughs> it's in style uh, right now. No, you, can't, you, can't, you cannot uh, express the Southern in uh, when you top it out. And then there's these. They look like celluloid to me, but I do not know that for a fact. But that's what they look like is celluloid mm -hmm. with rhinestones in the little flowers, carved out flowers. They look like celluloid. So you got $4 on 2 p 2 o'clock, 2, 2 o'clock, guys, 2 o'clock central, 2 o'clock central, me and April are having a, a craft auction, okay? Hi, Rose, 2 o'clock central. These definitely look like celluloid to me. So you got four pairs of vintage earrings. Those just got you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Vita, I hope you're here. The kitty cat's next. Vita, Vita, don't leave me, Vita, Vita. So, we got four. Aren't they pretty? They are pretty. They look like celluloid. I looked at them several times. It's finally stopped raining, Darlene. Is it still raining at your house? Yeah, we're, we're, ours will probably only last probably about a, maybe two hours at the most. So, yeah. Yeah, it's just taking like place of your, your show. Yeah, we're just doing it in place of my show. Uh, because we were supposed to do this auction yesterday, but Facebook, uh, YouTube had a problem. YouTube had a problem. Yes. So, okay. Jen, what's wrong? You got a blank thing. So we got cherry in at four. Anybody going to go five on these? Or is it time for me to stop? Start bagging it back up. Mm -hmm. There's the little. It's got a little chain wrapped around that bead. Oh, it wasn't, yeah, we couldn't do anything. We, I could get on and watch YouTube, but I could not go live at all. And it had me signed out, and it wouldn't let me get into my account like that either. So, anyway, it was crazy. All right, sold a cherry berry for $4. Thank you, cherry berry. And I never sign out of YouTube. <laughs> All I have to do is type it in and then I'm signed in. But for me to be signed out, I knew something was up. Okay. We've got this kitty cat brooch and we're going to start at $3. He mm -hmm. is got, uh, what does he have? It looks like he has a little acorn here that he's playing with. No, it's a fish. I just realized it's a fish. It's got a, look here. It's got a little... I, we're going to start at three dollars. It's got a little eye up here. You can see that little sparkle. That's his little eye. So it looks like a mouse to me. <laughs> a mouse. I see it now. He's got little ears and a nose and a tail. Yeah, he's got a little mouse. And I really thought I bought him at a, a pawn shop. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I thought he would be signed JJ, but he wasn't. Yeah, I would it think so. Looks like JJ, don't it? Mm -hmm. so, Anyway, so three dollars. Anybody, Vita, are you still here? Yeah, it's a mouse. I just have to look at things several times there, y'all. <laughs> so, anyway, Cheryl's in at three, Jennifer's in at four. He's cute, isn't he? He's a little tiny kitten, baby cat. Kitty, kitty, kitty. kitty. 
There's Vita. Then at five. Hey, Robin Skywatch, are you still here? Are you still here, Robin Skywatch? We're getting closer to that owl, honey. We're getting there. We're nearly there. We have like an owl brooch or something. Oh, I have Belinda. Uh, Vita's already in at five. You'll have to go at least six, please. And hi, Belinda. I didn't know you were here. Hi, Belinda. And we got one more giveaway to do. I got to find it. Here it is. Let's see what it says. Yeah, I don't have fast enough internet to even try. Oh, I remember what this said. This was. That's why it's better to bid like this and this instead of the want thing, because the want thing is not fair across the board. Yep, six dollars. Oh, uh, the uh, Melinda just walked in. Six dollars, she says. Mm -hmm. Okay. Six dollars to Belinda. Anybody going seven? Yeah, that's why I change up my words and also when I do buy it now. So that's why I count. That way it gives everybody a chance to be on key to know that this is a uh we're fixing to do it right now and you need to listen to the word i'm going to say so so okay guys got belinda in at six anybody want to go seven vita you going seven Oh my goodness. Oh my word. <laughs> that would that would be upsetting. Yeah, for sure. All right, so going once at six. Cute. Yay. Thanks, Cherry. We appreciate that. Yes, thank you, Cherry. We got Vita back at seven. Vita's back at seven. Vita don't wait. <laughs> yeah, Vita don't wait. She, but Vita's got, since she's moved from California to Texas, she's still getting used to her new internet there. So Yeah. Okay. So we'll try again. <laughs> Looking for an eight dollar bid now. We've got Vita in at seven. Anybody want to go eight? Belinda's out. So it's hard for me to watch because it's on Sundays. I miss Angie's show all the time. I have to go back and watch it in replay. Every once in a while I make it, but Sundays are by the time I get home from church on Sundays and I've done children's church, I'm give out. The only reason I offered to do the uh the auction with you yesterday was I didn't have to do children's church yesterday. So, so, to be there. so I knew I wouldn't be as tired. Mm -hmm. Seven. Okay. Okay. That was number 30. So we're going to do this giveaway. This is a real cool red watch. It is on a real leather band. It needs a battery. It says um, Scorpio on it. Okay. And it has Z for Zodiac. Because uh, this is a, um, this is just, it's a watch. It's a fashion watch. The band is cool. I mean, anyway, so uh, I'm going to count. 
No, I want to open the numbers giveaway. We're going to open the numbers. All right. Oh, let me pick a number. Let me pick a number before they start picking. Okay. Start numbers. And you can play two, April. You can play two. Well, something bit me on my leg. I don't know what I what it is, but something bit me. Skater. Yeah. Skater guy. It has, <laughs> it has scratched all day. It has scratched. <laughs> it may have been a mosquito. I saw a mosquito in my house the other day. I smacked it a good one, too. So, anyway... Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. You're planting. Oh, I wish I had a hot tub. But you know what? I, I was to. reading that, uh, I was reading that uh, uh, people that have pacemakers, defibrillator combos, uh, really shouldn't get in a hot tub. That it's not good for them to get in a hot tub. I don't think I don't think she meant it mean, Cherry. I think she just was afraid that it was that people were dissing on somebody. So I don't think she meant it mean. So and nobody I don't think nobody meant anything mean. We're just they All just right. state facts that it's hard sometimes to get in on on different things. So when you're when when there's a lot of people it's hard to get in. So anyway. Yeah, I think everybody was just saying that they've they've just frustrated with not winning. I mean, I've been there. I've been there. We've all been there. I mean, it's been it can get frustrating on this one. I got frustrated the other night on Facebook because I couldn't win on Cheyenne. So it wasn't that. Right. But it all it, it's always and so it's just people talking. On, nobody was dissing on nobody. So. Yeah. So, anyway, I don't want nobody to be offended. So, nobody has hard feelings. Don't get, everybody don't get upset. So, okay. We try to keep it chill and, and uplifting. We're just, we're just trying to have an auction. So. Okay. I didn't do stop. <laughs> Yeah, I, need, I need a swap. Okay. I got distracted. Yeah, right. lemon bus is real good. So y'all gonna laugh when y'all find out what the number is. Is any are we stopped yet? Yep, I did stop. Okay. So the number is eighty eight. Oh. I thought you were going to go lower this time, so I went lower. <laughs> yeah, well, see, I've done uh, 57, 37, and 88, so i done all the middle of the road. So, my sky watch is, I mean, I've done 88 this time. My sky watch is in at 87. Yeah, I think that's going to be it. 
No, somebody's in at 89. I saw 89. Oh, did they? Let's see. Yeah, let me see if I can find it. Oh, no. No, I see 89. And oh, I see 87, and I don't see an 89. I see a 69. No, got at 87. Yep. She won two tonight. So. Way to go, Skywatch. Thank you. I forgot what you gave away. <laughs> oh, watch. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Way to go. Okay. Okay, guys. Let's just let's just uh, move on. Okay. We're to another. Roach. Okay, to another brooch, a little flyer brooch with faux pearls and green rhinestones. And um, we're going to do a buy it now on this brooch for $4. Buy it now for $4. And I've lost y'all. Hold on. Where did y'all go? There y'all are. Okay. I lost you there. Is Kim Webster here? Hey, Kim. Did Kim just come Is she in? Hey. Yeah, she did. Hey, Kim. Hey, Kim. Okay. Okay. Everything's fine. Everybody's cool. There's been apologies that we all know that all, it's all over. Okay. I don't want no more talk about it, please. Okay. So. It wasn't, I didn't feel like anybody was dissing on anybody. That's why I didn't say anything. Just frustration that things not going how we thought they should go. But that's the part of the, that's the part you have to understand about YouTube. Everybody runs their own business their own way. And so that's how it is. So anyway, okay. So here we go. We're going to do a bite now for $4. If you would like to buy this bro uh, brooch for $4, this one is vintage. It's got the little upsy downsy thing, okay? It is vintage, okay? Um, $4. Buy it now. There are no marks on it. None. Zilch, not a, no marks. It's not signed. Yep, not signed. So, $4. I'm going to count, and then I'm going to tell you what to type. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you want this, if you want this for $4, we're going to, uh, um, uh, we're going to, uh, need you to type the word green green okay green i need green green if you want this brooch for four dollars green there you go green 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 y'all we're almost finished we've only got five more things to go green i need four dollars the word green gets this all right, Kim got it first. Thank you, Kim Webster. Okay, guys, the next piece is starting. It's going to be a bid. It's starting at $10, and you'll understand why when I say why. This is a sterling silver bow brooch. Uh. It's made by B E A U Bow. Um, I do believe it is vintage. I believe it's probably from the 50s or 60s. Bow jewelry was in business from 1947 to 2004, but this one is marked Bow Sterling. And usually, anytime something's marked Sterling, you know that it's older. So we're going to start this at $10. Yep. I'm going to start it at $10. It's got the sawtooth setting. $10 is where we're going to start this 
as the sawtooth setting. Isn't it pretty? Mm -hmm. There's one more thing, Robin, between between us and the, the fashion lot. So we've got Belinda in at 10. Cherry and Lip. Kim's in at 12. Cherry's in at 13. Yes, it's very, very delicate. Very delicate. Belinda's in at 15. Cherry's in at 16. Belinda's out. All right, so 16. Cherry Berry's in at 16. Uh, I believe it to be an onyx. Refresh. Kim, are you still in? We're not frozen, right? <laughs> no, we're not frozen. I'm just sitting here holding it out of the screen. <laughs> Kim's out. Okay. Kim's out. And I have sold to Cherryberry for $16. Gotcha, Cherryberry. $16. Cherryberry. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, guys. The next thing we're going to, it's an auction too, and we're going to start it at $10 also. And uh, this is made in Japan. It's Andrea by Salik. Salik. And um, it's this little heart trinket box. And there are 13 pieces of jewelry in it. The white carved earrings. Uh, Cherry, I will email you. Can you email me about all that later? Okay. So we've got this. There are 13 pairs, 13 pieces of jewelry in it. Okay, that'll be fine. 13 pieces of jewelry in it, including two pieces of silver. There's a vintage pair of silver earrings that I believe have a name on them. I can't remember which what it was, but I know they're sterling. They've been tested. And there's a sterling silver ring in here. There is also a, um, a bunch of signed pieces of jewelry. Uh, there's earrings, brooches, and necklaces. And there's 13 pieces in this. And we're starting it at $10. Okay, and I'm not showing it because it's going to be a surprise. It's like buying a blind jewelry jar or a mystery bag. So I'm not going to show what's in it, but I am telling you there's 13 pieces. And in those 13 pieces are two pieces of silver and several signed pieces. Belinda jumped to 19 already. <laughs> 10. 
Well, Belinda, you'll need to come in at 11. Vita was already in at 10. So. Kim's in at 15. Do you ever just wonder? Okay. It says Andrea Bass. Sadek, S A D E K, made in Japan, is what the sticker says on that. There we go. Cherry berries. Uh, Cheryl's in at 16. Cherry's in at 20. Oops, 19 this minute time. But Cherry's already. Okay, Kim's in at 25. Guys, I have a mesh purse that we're doing tonight. Cherry Berry's in at 26. So, let me go back on here. Cam's at 30. Okay, I have sold to Kim for thirty five. Okay. Thank you, Kim, for thirty five. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay, guys, the next one is a. Okay, I need to write on this. And uh, after the auction is over, don't leave, Cherry, because I want to talk to you, okay, about the things you want me to send to Selena, but I have it wrote down. So, the next one that, okay, this is Kim's, is this blue fashion lot. So, I told y'all I was, am I here? Mm-hmm. Okay, because I'm showing me spinning. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, I have a blue fashion lot. So, um, there are, let me see, I think there are 11 pieces in this lot. So, I have this blue, and we're going to start the bidding on it at $7, okay? I have this blue enamel bangle, and it's brand new. It came from Walmart. Blue link enamel bracelet. It's stretchy. I have, and we're starting at 7 I have this, um, and this is signed, and I can't remember, this is, no, is it signed? I can't remember. I don't think it's signed. It may be signed on the inside of it. It's got, it's an umbrella, and it's got, it's a, that, a locket, a locket, seven. Okay. So on bronze i've got this blue clamper enamel bracelet really pretty really really pretty seven dollars guys is where we're starting let me dig down here to the bottom i've got this um this uh and this actually 
it is it's almost like two necklaces you've got this big blue owl with the little bitty blue owl and it's a double strand necklace so anyway so i've got this blue necklace with the blue owls so that's one two three four items i've got this necklace right here that is a fashion and these are all fashion pieces okay you got this blue here and i don't know what all those they just that's just a fashion piece i've got this blue necklace here i've got this blue bracelet right here and it has a j on it and it's gold tone blue i've got this here that's bluey green stretch i've got these clip-on blue green earrings like i said this is a fashion lot we're at seven dollars those are blue green uh enamel and they're heavy they're not the thin uh enamel they're real heavy so i've got this pair of blue earrings looks like blue denim and this pair of little blue earrings fish hooks little blue and i think that may be two pairs of earrings but it may be one i can't tell for sure so seven dollars is where we're at we've got one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven eleven counting the uh, owl so we've got my sky watching it at seven My sky watch is in at seven. Cheryl's in at eight. It's eleven items. Yeah, I'm no longer with AT and T no more. Cheryl's in at eight. Anybody want to go nine? Cherry berries in at ten. Cherry's at 12.
Anybody going 13? We got Cheryl in at 13. Anybody? Cherry's out. Sold to Cheryl for thirteen dollars. Thank you, Cheryl. Okay, guys, we got this little bitty black mesh bag. It is a no brand. There's no brand on it. It's just satin lined. I think it says made in China. Yep, made in China. There's no damage on it. It's got a little black chain cute as it can be black mesh bag we're going to start the bidding on it at three dollars three dollars three dollars Got Jennifer in at three, Cherry Berry's in at four. I need five dollars. Uh, actually, <laughs> okay, Cherry, you already had it at four. So Vita, no, you already had it at four. So Vita had come in, but you come in at five, and Vita come in at five. Vita's at six. Vita's at six. Vita's at six. So. One more bag and we're going to be done. And the next bag is a very nice bag. Six dollars is where we are to Vita. Right now, six dollars. Cherry's at seven. My little lovey. You've got one just like that. Vita's at eight. Terry's out. Vita's been trying to win one of my mesh bags every time I put them up. <laughs> If I was real nice, I'd just send her one, wouldn't I? But instead, I'm sitting here hoarding all these 40-something mesh bags. All right. Well, she got one tonight. Sold to Vita for $8. Thank you, Vita. Okay, guys. This next bag, I never knew that this company made bags. But it is so gorgeous. Look at that. Purple. It's purple. It's purple. Purple. This is Lee Sands, guys. This one is Lee Sands. Did y'all know Lee Sands made purses? Lee Sands. Here's the tag right here. It says Lee Sands. Lee Sands. It is a genuine eel skin made in Korea. So it's from the 80s, um, but it is in immaculate condition. I don't know that it's ever been carried. And we're going to start this. Yeah, it is eel skin. 
It's the Prince bag. We're going to start this bag at $7. We're going to start at $7, guys. I know. I want to sing Purple Rain when I see it, too. <laughs> start at $7. You got a couple of Lee Sands change purses. Belinda's in at 10. Bougie's in at 15. It's got little zipper pockets on this a little zipper pocket on this end too cool. are you talking one? about the mesh or are you talking about oh, my bass go ahead it's very pretty vita's in at 16. are you talking about the mesh or are you talking about the eel skin uh belinda i have some beautiful mesh uh kiss lock bags uh change purses or bags too can i see the liner in it you betcha belinda's in it 20. okay there you go the liner is a deep purple oh, okay yeah it's a real deep purple almost to the point of looking black but it is purple i think I don't see hardly any marks on it. The eel? Okay. Um. <laughs> Lynn said, you still going? <laughs> I'm almost finished. This is the last item, Lynn. This is it. And then this I was going to <laughs> this is it it's cute 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 actually I'm going to do one more item after we do this Belinda's at 25 smoke on the water 22 <laughs> Linda's at 25. Okay, that puts him up on the water. 22 got uh, updrafted. Bouge is out. I really like it though. <laughs> I only own oh, one yeah. purple purse and it's a tiny leather, probably from the 80s as well. It's vintage, but it's it not like it that. Again, yes. It is also Lee Sands. Yes, it is Lee Sands. Smoke on the water's out. So to Belinda for 25. Thank you, Belinda. Beautiful purse, Belinda. Okay. Guys, I got I'm gonna offer this as a buy it now. And uh y'all laugh if y'all want. We've got the gold balls. <laughs> gold balls they're vintage necklaces I sold another eel skin purse one night on one of my auctions I can't even remember who bought it Kim did you buy that purse Kim Webster I was thinking Kim Webster may have bought it but I can't remember hmm. 
We've got these uh, pearlized beads. And we've got these faux pearls. So we've got four necklaces. And we're going to throw in this Avon Taurus set. Avon Taurus jewelry set from the 80s. It's a ring, size 6, and a bracelet. And they have the Taurus sign on them and say Taurus words. So we've got four necklaces and this Avon set. And we're going to do a buy it now for $10. Okay. That's four necklaces, a bracelet, and a ring. If you want to buy this now for $10, I sold you the eel skin purse. I couldn't remember who I sold the eel I remember now you were going to send it to your sister. Yeah. So she'll be trying to steal it from you. Yeah. I remember now that. I remember that now, uh, Vina. So $10. Going to buy it now for $10. I'm going to count and I'm going to tell you the word to type. Okay. <sighs> One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you want all this stuff for ten dollars as a buy it now, type in the word bull, bull, B U L L, bull. Got the Bracelet, the ring, and four necklaces. Bull. $10 if you want it. If not, then we'll just go on and be done and it can be go away. So. We got Liz on. Hi, Chitara. Thank you, Tara. Okay, guys, if y'all want to stay and listen to me talk just a minute to uh, to uh, uh, Cherry and to Tara, that you can. If not, you can all say good night. I just want to make sure. Okay, Cherry Berry, answer me. You want this bar brooch and these carved uh, what look like to be celluloid earrings to go to Selena, correct? Yes or no? Is this correct? Cherry Berry. Cherry Berry. Cherry Berry. Talk to me. Bar brooch? Yes. Okay. To Selena. I got you. I've got it right on the bag. Okay. Tara. <laughs> if you're still here and you want to buy this bag, I have $6.50 marked on it. That's the price on it. If you want it, I will sell it to you for that. Six fifty. And uh, with what you bought, your shipping would be seven fifty five. Send those round ones to you. Found what round ones to you? This got sold. Belinda, it got sold to Tara. Hun, it got sold. So yes, six fifty. Okay, gotcha. Pink purse. Okay, that's all the business I had with everybody. So, you was looking for something green in her favorite color. Oh, oh, Belinda, I need to ask you something too while I have you. I had this stuff put aside for you that um, you won. These, I think both chokers, I will, I'll, I will include it on your, on your thing. Both chokers, and I think I had you down for winning them for $3, okay? Is that, is that right, Belinda? Yep. We're going to go to Bougie's channel, and she's going to open and do a, a un, unboxing. So, Belinda, are you here? Did you leave already? There she is. Yes. Okay. Now, those were $3, so I will add them to your thing. To your, okay, Belinda's chokers. Okay, guys. 
That's it. That's everybody's stuff I've been sitting here holding on to. So, okay. There we go. So, we're going to say good night. Oh. Who won that one? Kim won it. Okay. So, okay, guys. I'll talk to you all later. Y'all have a wonderful night, okay? Bye-bye. Bye. Look, go join us over yonder on Bougie's channel. We'll chit chat over there, okay? Bye bye.